The majority of the authority on this morning was held by Philip Schofield, according to sources who were fed up with his behavior on the ITV show. He has been the subject of claims in recent days that he wasn't the easiest person to deal with. Former co-workers including Dr. Ranj Singh and Ruth Langsford have voiced their concerns to ITV executives. In an unexpected statement, Philip argued that despite reports that the program had a toxic atmosphere, this was not the case. Following his shocking admission of an affair with a much younger male ITV staffer in a bombshell statement, the 61-year-old host sensationally resigned from every position with the company. According to a source from the show who spoke to the Mirror, those on set were getting sick of it because he had too much power at this morning. According to a person who works there, he doesn't even speak to or recognize the names of the crew and support staff. It turned into a hazardous environment. They said they, if they speak out, aren't permitted back on as guests. It's identical to what happened with Amanda Holden. You will not be invited back to the concert if you cheese him off. All editorial choices are made by ITV management and the appropriate departments, an ITV source informed The Mirror. Editorial choices cannot be made by presenters. Despite him urging producers to sign Rochelle Humes up after the Britain's Got Talent judge had agreed to be on the program, Amanda and Philip had previously performed on the show together. According to sources at the time, Rochelle was picked because she was easier to manage on air, and Amanda felt Philip had unfairly used his powers of persuasion. In her speech from 2019 about the subject, Amanda told her radio co-host Jamie Theakston, I've moved on from it, Jamie, you need to move on from it. Years ago, I did make the offer to meet for coffee, but he never texted me back. How shall I begin? Another insider told the Mirror that Philip could override people on this morning and said that if a booker refuses a celebrity guest, he frequently works behind them to get a spot. They said that a well-known person was turned down for the opportunity to appear on the sofa, but after speaking with Philip directly, they were able to get a spot on the show, with the former presenter apparently working behind the backs of producers. People who worked on this morning, including the crew, cameramen and those who brewed tea, were afraid to even speak to him, our insider stated. They were allowed to communicate with him, but he would keep his head buried in his phone. He was granted far too much power and believed himself to be unstoppable. Former This Morning employee Dr. Ranj Singh expressed his displeasure, saying he thought the environment on the program was toxic and that he had voiced his concerns to ITV executives. I started getting more and more concerned about what was going on behind the scenes and how I was being treated, he added. Although I was unaware of Philip's true situation, I am aware that this morning's problems Culture extend cannot be well created beyond. by one person alone. Since my job is to look out for people's well-being and I have been heavily involved in diversity, anti-bullying, and mental health projects across the channel, I did what I thought was right and as ITV confirmed last night, I raised my concerns about Martin Frizzle's behavior and the environment at this morning with Emma Gormley. However, I soon noticed that I was getting less and less use. In his lengthy statement, Rand said, I even took my concerns to the top of ITV. I felt like I was managed out of this morning because I whistled blue about the toxic culture there that was no longer in line with ITV's core beliefs. But as history and experience have shown us, it may be very difficult to prove acts of bullying and discrimination, especially in the aftereffects and when the those in power are in charge of the narrative. No study or probe is fault-proof, as we have seen. We regret reading Dr. Range's tweet today, an ITV spokeswoman said in response to Range's remarks, according to The Mirror. ITV is totally dedicated to giving everyone who works with us the chance to voice any complaints or suggestions they may have. Following Dr. Ren's complaint, we asked an outside, impartial advisor to conduct a review. There was no proof of bullying or prejudice, according to this independent review. Ruth Langsford, a star of Loose Women, also complained to ITV about Philip's conduct in 2019. After Ruth appeared obviously shocked when Phil interrupted her live on air as she told viewers what would happen next on Loose Women, their argument seemed to be getting more serious. Ruth said, unimpressed, Well, I only had about two more words to say. Rebecca Jane, a former Big Brother participant and GB News analyst, 
said in an interview with the Mirror that she had experienced a hostile workplace when working on this morning. The media figure has recently featured on the program. In 2018, when they were discussing how housewives are often stereotyped as being lazy, they famously disagreed with Philip. I'd say it was poisonous, she added, since I didn't feel I could criticize his behavior or the way it made me feel. Nobody would care if I did. They simply carried out their desires. Since it's television, we had to adjust. It took me years to get over that first appearance. It's amazing how he turned over time, Rebecca continued. People you know can cause you a lot of grief too, which will make good television because we're not bothered about using them again, said the host of a reality television show. I firmly believe that Holly was okay the first day, but she didn't assist or save me when Phil dove in, instead several members of the public did. Phil's attitude toward me evolved as I continued to work with this morning for many years. He may have realized I wasn't going anywhere because he didn't go for me like he did the first time. He was pleasant in the years that followed, but I was always aware of him. Since 2019, Rebecca has not featured on This Morning. The supervisors on the show, according to a former staffer who asked to remain nameless, made the most of Fridays when Philip wasn't at work. I found him to be unfriendly, sarcastic, and very controlling over the content of the show, they alleged, because there is no pressure when he isn't in, Fridays are everyone's favorite day of the week. ITV CEO Kevin Ligo recently refuted allegations that the affair inquiry had been handled incompetently, telling Sky News who had made the allegations, No. We've made a statement today and yesterday he continued, I believe everything is clear. On Monday Schofield said, Now that I am no longer employed by it this morning, I can say this. I hope you've observed that the strongest voices tend to come from the same group of individuals who have a grudge against me or the show. With the best staff, this morning is the best show to work on. There was no toxicity during the entire time I worked there. You're welcome to listen to those loud noises that keep coming. But it is a family of great, talented, kind, and hardworking people, as the thousands of guests over the years, the thousands of employees and crew, and the hundreds of presenters and contributors all know. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Talent Show, and stay with us.